Hi YouTube, we're back to the last installment on what I do when I wash my hair and condition my hair on the days that I do that. Um, I'm here to show you what I do for styling. So this was just a quick thing to be able to get some things done. Usually when I'm ready to style my hair, I don't like to um, wear my top that I'm going to wear outside. So um, I put on my a t-shirt and I have my towel wrapped around me. This shower cap, I reversed it after I rinsed my hair out. I didn't really, uh, I finger combed my hair in the shower. So, um, let's get the style in. So, take this off. Like, um, if you read my, on my channel, oh, my hair is so soft. Um, I tell you that I like to leave my hair dripping wet when, um, and I do. I like to leave it dripping wet. And I normally don't twist it, or do I? I don't know. I'm tired, so my, my mind's not make, working right. But here's my hair after I rinsed it out in the shower, and I took the twist out. And as I took the twist out, or as I was rinsing in the shower, I let the um, water kind of just you know run on it and I was squeezing it with my hand down the twist and then I would unravel the twist I think I'm going to start doing twist outs you know I've got enough hair you can kind of see where I need my trim I can see it like that needs to be trimmed there it's little bits all over but here I'm going to do a spin for you I'm going to do it kind of slow what my hair looks like I actually like the way my hair feels right now, but I'm going to do what I normally do on the styling days. I think, um, what is it? Uh, so you know how to do it. Check out my video on how to make a glycerin spray. This is what this is. Let me shake it up for you because I didn't get to do that step. All this is, is uh, it had a little bit from the batch that I made before, but it's five tablespoons of water, distilled water, and three tablespoons of vegetable glycerin, and ten drops of rosemary essential oil, or you could use an essential oil of your choice. I think after I use up all my rosemary, I'm going to get peppermint because I like that scent, and um... I think that would be kind of cool to smell like peppermint, you know, so, let me shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, bottle with glycerin, let me stop, I'm tired, <laughs> yes, I will start making up songs, I will make up a song, or a word, and, um, yeah, like I was saying, implements in, instead of instruments in one of my hair videos, I was like, implements, what am I talking about? instruments. Alright, I'm getting off topic. But, uh, shake it. I just really like how my hair is right now. I really do. I'm gonna do a chunky fro. I've been seeing that. I wanna do it. I got the hair for it. I do. I don't know. Sometimes, like I said, I don't put my fingers all in it. I don't know what I got going on here. Alright. So you take it and you shake it. And then you wanna have it in a a mist. You want it to come out in a mist. Not streaming. Like not a I'm gonna show you not how not how to do it. No. 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 Hold on let me if I open it all the way. Okay. Not like that. You want it in a mist. Okay, you want it like a fine mist all over your hair. So we're going to do that. Can you see me spraying it? Can you see the spray? It's really fine. I hope you can see it. Okay. Okay. So let me explain to you what I usually do. I usually spray this section about two times. Then I spray the sides. Then I go in the back. Spray down the back and then the sides again. Shaking up as I go. Since my hair is already wet, um, I don't need a lot. 
I just really like how my hair turned out. I am going to be twisting. But, and then I work it in. I'm definitely going to show you how I do my hair on dry hair. Because I just take the spray bottle of, uh, is that a twist? Oh, uh, it's not, it is a twist, but it just wasn't combed out. But, uh, I work it in. It's really wet right now because I didn't pat it dry. And I could pat it dry, but you can let it air dry, um, which I like to do, which I like to do. You may not. You may want to pat your hair dry and then add your uh, glycerin spray, your homemade glycerin spray. But uh, check me out. Check out my curl definition. Yeah, boy. <laughs> and see, I don't. This is my wet texture. You know, this is the texture you'd be like, if it could be like this all the time, I would like my hair. Mm-hmm. I know. I know. And see, that's why I have a towel and a bummy shirt. I like to call them t-shirts, bummy shirts, because, you know, the shirt you don't really go outside in. Just be lounging in the house in. But, uh, yeah. I'm happy with this. I mean, I'm fussing with it for your benefit because I like my hair like this, actually. Some people don't like the frizz or... I like I like my hair. I love my hair. Actually, I really do. I love my hair. Now, what the vegetable glycerin and water does is, of course, add moisture to your hair. And then it kind of locks in the moisture because the vegetable glycerin is a um, water-soluble oil in a way. Um, I need to read that bottle. Next time I do my spray, I'm going to read the bottle so you know what's up. But I'm sure nod your face or do a YouTube search on glycerin spray or vegetable glycerin spritz and somebody else has a video about it but um, until I do another one, you know, so you can have all the information because research, research, you know. And I'm just one person. This is what worked for me. And fortunately, when I start, started my journey, I always thought, what moisture, you know, what can I use to add moisture to my hair? And I just close this up. I turn the knob and shut it. And I start in the refrigerator. Um, let's see what time we got. Okay. I'm going to use all the whole 10 minutes, I guess. Give you, you know, shots in my hair. Just the top. This is the side. That's the front. I rock rough and stuff with my afro. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna check out the back for myself. Can you see it? And I was looking at it through the mirror. Okay, I said I was happy with it. I'm pretty much happy with it. It's just a little fluff here, pat there. But overall, I like it. And I like the little texture on the end that the twist gave it. I didn't sit under the dryer either. So, um, that was just body heat. When I got in the shower and everything, and I like it. I really like my hair. I love my hair. Okay, we got another minute. We just gonna love on my hair in this video. And I'm not being too rough with it. I think the real testing, the real styling video will be after it's thoroughly dry. But I like this. My hair is so light. I, sh I wish I knew how to do a split screen of what my hair looked like before I washed it and now because you can really see see this is where you start patting and stuff and also too I use the mirror to look at my profile what's that? okay I use the mirror to look at my profile because then you can get a shape of the fro and whatever's sticking up you kind of pat down but so far, I love it. And that's how I style my hair. 
And so please comment, rate, and subscribe. And thanks for watching. Talk to you later. Bye.